what is this? Oh, another, wait, oh, I forgot about these. So this is basically a one of a kind Katie designed sweatshirt. I just got this from H&M two months ago. I don't think I like it. This is the drawer that we're getting rid of like half of the things in here. So let me like kind of zoom you in a little bit more. These are difficult and I really do not know what I'm gonna do about this. Also, this is a weird conversation to have when you can't see my face. What am I doing? Hold on. And then I'll see if I like it after I shave it. It's a weird thing to talk about shaving clothes, but <sighs> my videos are sometimes chaotic, but I think you guys know that already. <laughs> Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing some spring cleaning, not actually cleaning, but I'm gonna be going through all of my clothes and deciding what I'm gonna get rid of, what I'm gonna put on Poshmark. If you guys know, I do have some clothes for sale on Poshmark. And then also I did go shopping and I just wanna show you some new stuff that I got. So it's kind of spring cleaning and a shopping haul at the same time, but there's just a lot of stuff to go through and I just wanna go through it all with you guys. You're gonna help me. You're gonna keep me accountable and make sure that I'm not keeping anything that I don't wanna keep. You guys know that I practice minimalism in the way of I only like to keep things that I use and that I love. And so we're gonna go through all my clothes. Let's go through all like the stuff that's hanging up first because I think I'm only getting rid of one or two things there. And then we'll go through like the drawers that I have because I'm definitely getting rid of some of that stuff. So, okay, first, okay, let's go through shoes because they're right here. But I do have two pairs in the other room and I think I'm getting rid of one of those pairs. But at least these shoes of what you can see. I have a pair of loafers, keeping those. I have two pairs of heels that are like block heels, definitely keeping those. And then a couple pairs of sandals that I'm keeping. And then I have four pairs of sneakers. I'm keeping all that. That was easy. That was quick. That was easy. That was simple. I'm keeping all of that. And then in this little organizer thing, I do have two hats on top of here that I am keeping. The rest of my hats, oh, I actually have three because I have a little beanie, but the rest of my baseball hats are in the car, but I just have a couple in here. But in here, I have all of my comfy shorts and my bike shorts. So I'm keeping those. Oh, by the way, I do have some clothes in the laundry. So this is not all of my clothes, but it's most of them. But so here's pajama shorts and bike shorts. That's fine. Here is my one pair of sweatpants that I have have. And then this is a sweatshirt. What is this? Oh, another, wait. Oh, I forgot about these. I'm going to have a maybe pile that I might try on. This is a pair of pajama pants, like really thin ones, but they're very big on me. And so I want to just try them on again to see if they're like big, but okay and comfy, or if they're like way too big. So we're going to have a maybe pile on my bed. So yeah, this is just sweatpants and a sweatshirt. And then here are the rest of my sweatshirts that these I'm keeping. This I'm definitely keeping. This one down here, I wore it like once or twice and it's already pilly, but I think I'm just gonna get one of those like fabric shaver things and do that. But then I do have two other sweatshirts that I know I'm getting rid of and those are these two. So let me just show you, cause again, I'm gonna be listing some of this on Poshmark. And so if you wanna purchase any of these things that I will be selling, I will have them on my Poshmark. It will be linked below. It always is because I always have some stuff on there. And so let me just show you these two sweatshirts really quickly. I got it a couple years ago at H&M and it's just one of those like Teddy kind of sweaters. The inside is even softer than the outside, but yeah, I just don't wear this. I just do not wear this. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that. This is a size small from H&M. And then this one, okay, this is like a really special sweatshirt, but I do wanna sell it to one of you. So this is basically a one of a kind Katie designed sweatshirt. And so if you remember like a year and a half ago, I sold t-shirts that I designed that said Jesus loves you on them. I was also thinking of selling sweatshirts and this was the sample that I got, but I just didn't like love it enough to sell it. And so I just really wanted to stick with just the t-shirts for that specific launch. Further launches, I'll probably add sweatshirts, but that one specifically, I was like, I don't know about the sweatshirt, let's just stick with the t-shirts. But I do have this one sample that honestly, I just don't wear. I don't really love this color on me. I do love brown, like this brown sweatshirt I love, but this specific color of brown, I think it's a little bit too warm for what I prefer. And so I have one of these. This literally is a one of a kind sweatshirt. And so if you are interested, I will have it on my Poshmark. It's a size medium, I think. And it just says, Jesus loves you on the front. And then on the back has this big design that again, this is what the t-shirts had a year and a half ago. Jesus loves you with the rose. And it has one of my favorite Bible verses on the bottom, Psalm 56, four, that says, what can flesh do to me? So yeah, if you like this color, if you are a size medium-ish, again, I like my sweatshirts a little bit oversized, so sometimes I do get a medium. So I would say this is like a true medium. I got it to be a little bit oversized, but it is a little bit longer 
So if you're interested, I will have this on my Poshmark. Again, one of a kind, only one of these was made. It's just not my favorite color. So I just don't really wear it. So I just wanna sell it and maybe one of you guys will enjoy it. So I have that, that's gonna go on my Poshmark. So everything else in here is good. And then let me move over here so I can show you this side. So this I'm keeping, I'm not gonna go through everything cause then we'll be here for four hours. So I'm not gonna go through every single piece, but I have a pair of pants. I have a shirt here. I have more denim vests. If you can tell, I have an obsession. A mild obsession with denim vests right now. I have a couple tank tops that I'm keeping. I have these two white t-shirts that honestly, honestly, I don't need both of these. I don't need both. So I probably am gonna get rid of one of them, but again, that's gonna go in like the maybe pile that I'm gonna try on. And so I'm going to take these. One is from Aritzia and one is from Unique Glow. There's a possibility I might keep both, but it's unlikely because, and I'll get into that a little bit later, I have realized that I don't really love white t-shirts and tank tops with my skin tone. And so there are a couple that I do still like, like this one, I really do like, but a lot of them I don't, there's something about it. And so I am getting rid of some of my white tops. Anyway, there's another t-shirt, another t-shirt. This t-shirt, here's the thing. This one I just got. I just got this from H&M two months ago. I don't think I like it. I don't know if I like this color on my skin tone and that it's oversized and whatever, like the fit of it. I love oversized t-shirts, but I think this one specifically, cause it's one solid color and it's this color. I don't know if I like it. I am gonna put this in the maybe pile and I'm going to try it on with like a vest over it and like a bunch of jewelry and see if that makes me like it more. If not, I'm gonna get rid of it. Cause I do have a bunch of other t-shirts that are in one of the drawers. Anyway. This is a white button down, love this. So white button downs are fine. It's more like white tank tops and t-shirts. I'm just not loving. So anyway, I do have another white button down, but it's in the laundry. Blue button down that I really like. I had this brown, like silkier button down that I've never worn, but I do like, and I do want to keep that. And then I have a couple like fancier things. I have a sweatshirt that I'm definitely keeping. My Raina Kindo, favorite band in the whole world. Love this, love that, definitely keeping that. So I have my uh, denim jacket in the car right now, but here's another one that I am gonna put on my Poshmark because I just don't love this light denim anymore. I'm more of like a medium denim kind of girl. It's still dancing. Um, yeah, I just don't love this right now, but it's a nice gap denim jacket. And so if you like lighter denim, I will have this on my Poshmark. This is a size medium, again, for like a little bit of an oversized fit. I'm generally an extra small in things. And so sometimes I'll get a medium if I want an oversized fit. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I just have a blazer and my leather jacket and then my fake leather jacket. So I'm keeping all of those. Okay, so now let's go through all these drawers. I'm definitely getting rid of some things. Okay, let's sit on the floor. Okay, so can you see enough? Okay, so I have these two bins with all my exercise clothes and I am 90% positive I'm keeping all of this. Let me go through it really quickly. I have mostly black and then randomly highlighter yellow, but I love this. Shorts, shirts. Yeah, I think I'm keeping all of this. Oh, I'm gonna try on these shorts because I don't know if I love these specific shorts, but the rest I am definitely keeping. And then this one is all leggings and I know that those are good. So I'm not even gonna go through that because I know that those are good. And then I just have my two belts sitting here. Okay, this is my underwear drawer. That's totally fine. This is the drawer that we're getting rid of like half of the things in here. So let me like kind of zoom you in a little bit more. Okay, so this drawer has all of my tank tops. Obviously most of them are black and white. And then a couple like little t-shirts are in here as well. All my oversized t-shirts are in this bottom drawer. But so honestly, honestly, lately I've just really noticed that most of my white tank tops I don't like on me. And I think specifically it's like certain fabrics and certain cuts and whatever, but then also just white in general, I don't think looks as good on me. Again, except for the button downs, I like the white button downs. And so I think it just kind of depends on the cut of it and whatever. But overall, I just have really noticed that most of these white tank tops specifically, I don't really like on me anymore. And so I'm going to keep one that I do like, but the rest I think I'm going to get rid of. And so this is just a little tube top that I don't wear out. I would only wear this if I'm like sunbathing in the backyard or whatever, but honestly, I can even do better than this. And so I'm going to get rid of that. This is a little white t-shirt from Open Edit, just like a little cropped white t-shirt that again, I like the idea of, but just on me, I don't know. I think it's like, I don't know. I think it's just my skin tone and even the fabrics and stuff like that. I just don't love this on me. I just have like this white tank top that again, I've just noticed I don't really like on me from Universal Thread. I'm gonna get rid of that. Another one 
from A New Day from Target. Gonna get rid of. This one I might keep. Might, might, might keep. This little Wild Fable one, I might keep that one. And then this one from H&M, this is a little tank top that's like baggy. It's like an oversized tank top, but it has like really low cutouts on the sleeves. And again, I just don't like how this looks on me. So I'm going to maybe sell that maybe or give it away, but I'm not keeping it. And then the only white tank top that I know I'm keeping is this Helmet Lang one that I got at a Nordstrom Rack years ago. But this one I do like on me, definitely more than the other ones. So I am gonna keep that one and I'll probably keep this Wild Fable one for now. And then I just have this little uh, fitted t-shirt that I also got recently from H&M. And then I just have this gray tank top that I am gonna keep. And then this shirt, Whew, okay, this shirt, you guys know me. You have seen how I dress. You've seen my wardrobe. You are probably looking at this shirt and being like, Katie, maybe you would have worn this three or four years ago, but this is not something you would ever wear now. Even three or four years ago, you may not have. But this is just not my style, but I think it is so pretty. I got this like five years ago in LA, I think, at a, what's that store, Urban Outfitters. And I just think it's so pretty. I think it's so pretty, but I just do not wear this. And I did not wear it last year. I've worn it before but like a couple of years ago. And honestly, I keep keeping it. I keep keeping it because I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. Maybe I'll wear it, maybe I'll wear it. And then I just never wear it. Let's put this in the maybe, I'll try it on again. I did just try it on the other day. And I'm like, I, I don't think that I can do it, especially with my glasses and my hair. There's just something about it that like, I don't know. I just am not a floral girl, but I think it's a beautiful shirt. I just don't think that it's me. So I'm really only keeping these on that side. And then all of these black tank tops, I did just go through and I am gonna keep all of them. Most of them are from Target, but I do wear all of these. I do like these. And so I am going to keep all of those. And then down here is all my baggy t-shirts that I am keeping all of them except for, I'm not gonna keep this one. This is just a baggy black t-shirt. There's just something about this one too that on me, I just don't really love. And again, maybe I could style it better, but at least when I wear it now, I just don't really love it. And I also do have another black t-shirt. It's just not as baggy as this one, but it's similar enough that I definitely don't need two because I don't wear them often enough to do that. So I'm just going to get rid of that. That's from H&M as well. What is this one? I don't even know what this is. I truly do not know what this is. I did not know that I had this. <laughs> I honestly did not know that I had this. Okay, cool. So let's put this in the maybe pile because I didn't know I had it. It's a Wild Fable cropped white t-shirt. I think this is new-ish. And then I think it just got like piled in here. And then I just totally forgot about it. Like completely forgot about it. So we'll put this in the maybe pile, see if I can style it. But again, it might just be like the white tank tops and this black t-shirt that it's just, I don't know. I'm just not liking them. And then what's this one? Another, okay, we're getting rid of this one for sure. <laughs> we're definitely getting rid of this white H&M t-shirt. The other one's cropped and so we'll see how it fits. But that one, I do remember this one. I do remember this one. And I just, again, don't like it enough to keep it. And then everything else in there is good. So there's all my t-shirts. Here's all my long sleeves. And again, I've gone through this recently enough. And also it's about to be summer and it is Florida, so I'm not even gonna be touching these anytime soon anyway. But I also did go through them recently enough that I do think I'm gonna be keeping all those. Let me just like shift and move over here. Okay, so again, not all my clothes are in here because some I'm wearing and then some are in the laundry, but here are my shorts and my skirts. So I have these shorts that I actually think I'm gonna cut because I do like them and they're baggy and I like the color and I would normally like this length, but um, I think I'm just gonna cut them a little bit or something, do something to them. I'm gonna try these on though and we'll see. We'll decide that together. The same with these. I do like these. Again, I don't really like a lot of light denim, but some of it I do still like. And I think that this is a pretty light denim, but again, these are pretty big and baggy on me. So maybe I'll cut them. We'll try those on. And then these are the opposite. These are like short shorts, which I don't really wear very often. I do still think I'm gonna keep those. I'm gonna keep those. And then these two shorts are the same. They're just in two different sizes even though they kind of fit the same, but I am definitely gonna cut these. These are like five inch, I think. And I think if I just cut them just the tiniest bit, they'll fit a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna just take these out. And then here are my two skirts that I have that honestly, I just wanna start wearing more because I think they're cute. Here's like a little black pleated skirt, adorable. Adorable. I'm not a skirt girl or a dress girl. If you didn't notice, I, oh, I did have one dress, but I'm already giving it away. <laughs> 
because I just don't want it. But yeah, I'm just not really a dress or a skirt girl, really. But I think that this skirt with like a baggy t-shirt or something would look cute. And then here's my other skirt. This is like a pleather mini skirt. I just like the idea of having this. And so I am going to keep it and then just you know, make myself wear it. So that's what's in there. Again, I have like two or three other pairs of shorts. They're just out or in the laundry or whatever. Okay, and then here's my jeans that I am keeping all of these. Yeah, I'm keeping all of these. So we don't even have to go through them. So those are good. And then in here, this is an interesting drawer because I actually made this drawer. Let me do this a little bit. I made this drawer, uh, drawer was hard for me to say for a second. I made this little drawer of the stuff that I haven't really worn. And so I wanted to put it all in one section to see if I ever reached for it over the last few months. And honestly, I haven't. And so now is the time to decide, do I alter it or something to make it where I'm gonna wear it more or do I just finally get rid of it? So these pants, I love these pants. They are just very long on me. They're just like comfy kind of pants, but they're very long on me. But honestly, it might just be time to either stitch them up or to get that like fashion tape kind of stuff, like that hemming tape and just tape them up. Cause I do like these. <sighs> these two pair of jeans, these are difficult and I really do not know what I'm gonna do about this. These jeans are from Zara. They are again, a little bit of a lighter wash, but that's not the issue. The issue is that they're ripped and I have not worn ripped jeans in probably, I don't know, at least nine months, maybe a year. There's a couple ways to look at decluttering and whatever, right? I do believe in the whole idea, if you haven't worn it in a year, you probably won't wear it, unless it's like a ski jacket that you only wear for skiing, fine. You know, but generally your regular kind of clothes, if you haven't worn it in a year, it's really, really time to decide, did you just forget that you had it and you need to like put it more in the front of your wardrobe so you remember? Or is it just that you are not wearing it, you know? I do believe in that, however, I also believe in the idea that trends come back around and even the things that we like kind of changes sometimes. And so there's certain things that I understand if you have this space and depending on your mentality around it, I do understand kind of keeping some old clothes in a different part of your house or whatever that maybe you would go back to in a year to see if you really like it or whatever. I just generally don't keep stuff like that. Like if it doesn't fit for longer than a year and or if I haven't worn it in a year, if I've just kind of changed my style or whatever, then I just generally get rid of it. But now with these jeans and with these black skinny jeans that I also have not worn, it's kind of like, do I think I'm ever gonna wear these again in the next year or so? Cause then I can keep it. It's not that much space. I have the space, you know? But for me, it's not even just a physical overwhelm if I have too many things, but it's also a mental and emotional overwhelm. If I have too many things that I'm not wearing that I don't really love, it just kind of feels like I'm being weighed down a little bit more. And so that's why in my last video, you know, I got rid of some of my skincare and stuff, but I also got rid of a lot of my makeup because even though I liked it, some of it was just really old and needed to get thrown out. And some of it, I just really wasn't wearing. And so it's kind of the same with my clothes, like with the white tank tops, was I wearing them? Yes, but did I feel really good in them? No. Also also, this is a weird conversation to have when you can't see my face. What am I doing? Hold on. I really should have had this on my face that whole time. I apologize. That was probably really weird. Anyway. So yeah, I just think that for me personally, I like to have stuff that I use and that I love. And I like to know where everything is. And I like to make sure that everything has a home and everything's as organized as I can have it and whatever, like organize it in a way that makes sense to me and stuff like that. So I don't like to have a lot of clothes that I'm not wearing. But again, with like the white tank tops, I was wearing them, but I realized I did not feel good in them, but I kept wearing them. So that's a whole weird issue too. And so it's like, no, I'd rather have a smaller wardrobe but of all stuff that I love when I wear it, you know? But I also understand the idea of, oh, I haven't worn that in a while, but I used to love it. Or when I lose five pounds, then maybe I'll wear it. I kind of understand those things, but in a realistic way, you know? Like I gained weight at one point and I kept all my clothes that were the smaller size and I kept them for like over a year, like a year and a half. And I'm like, Katie, you might not be that smaller size again. So I ended up getting rid of them. And then of course, like three years later, now I am that smaller size again. And now 
now I don't have those clothes. But regardless, we kind of don't know. And I was being realistic with myself. I kept them for like a year, year and a half. And then I was like, you know what? I haven't lost the weight. It does not seem like I'm going to lose the weight anytime soon. And so I'm just going to get rid of them. And then if I do lose the weight, then I will repurchase, you know? So that's one of the ideas. But then another one is trends like skinny jeans. They were definitely a lot trendier years ago than they are now. And some people still wear them because you love them. But me personally, I'm not really loving skinny jeans recently. I like the baggier kind of jeans. And so am I going to wear these anytime soon? I'm not sure. And so that's why they've been in this drawer. So I don't know. I think that these are just another try on. I have a whole pile of stuff to try on. I'm gonna try them on and see, you know, even how they fit. I'm just even gonna see how they fit because they might not even fit now. And so we'll see, see how I feel in them. And again, because sometimes I have the physical space, but that does not mean, oh, my hair stuck in my glasses. <laughs> even if I have the physical space, that does not mean that I still want to keep it because sometimes it feels emotionally overwhelming to own things that I don't love or that I don't use, but that I might want for the future. For me, I'm just kind of like, no, I'd just rather not have it. But that's just my personal opinion on that kind of stuff. So anyway, here's three more things that are in the maybe pile. This so cute, so cute. But also I don't really feel very comfortable wearing a lot of these like tiny little tank tops anymore, but also it's a little pilly. But if I'm getting a fabric shaver for this sweater, then I might be able to use it on this. And so I'm gonna keep this, get the fabric shaver. I'm gonna shave this and then I'll see if I like it after I shave it. It's a weird thing to talk about shaving clothes, but I'll see if I still like it after that. And if I don't, then I'll get rid of it. But at least for now, I will keep that. And then here are just two more. Here's another white tank top, just gonna get rid of that. Then here's a black tank top with a scoop neck. Actually, I might have one. I think I got two of these when I got them. So I might actually have one in here. Let me see. Cause I definitely don't need two, but honestly, I don't even know if I need one. I don't think I have it in here. Yeah, no. Okay, so no. I think I had two. I think I already got rid of one and this was the second one, but I don't even think I need that one. No, this is a maybe. This is still a maybe. Let's try that one on. Because again, I just want to wear clothes that I like, which I know that we all do. But I also know that some of you know what I'm talking about, that we keep clothes that we're used to wearing, even though when we wear them, we don't really feel good about ourselves. And it's like, well, why have them then? And why wear them, you know? And especially, I definitely have enough clothes that I do like and that I do feel good in. And for me personally, and I think I talked about this over the last year or so, I want to elevate my style just a little bit. I'm a very casual dresser, but I think that I can be casual and wear a cute little denim vest versus a white tank top that I don't even like. You know what I mean? Let's go try on all that maybe stuff first. Oh, I wanna go through my purses first. Oh, and the pair of shoes I think I'm gonna get rid of. My videos are sometimes chaotic, but I think you guys know that already. <laughs> okay, these are also maybe. This fell. Okay, this is the definite no so far, which is a small-ish pile, but it's all tiny little tank tops. So it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things of tank tops and t-shirts that I'm definitely getting rid of. So that's good, I think so far. And yeah, let me go through my purses. I'm almost positive I'm keeping all those. And then I'll show you the pair of shoes that I'm probably getting rid of. But let's go through my purses. They're right here in this bag. I love purses. I used to have so many purses when I was younger and now I don't have as many, but I love the ones that I have. I literally only have four in here. That doesn't make sense. Oh, cause I guess I really only have seven and one I'm using and the other two are out. I'm not gonna get the other two. I'm just gonna go through these four cause I know I'm keeping those. Um, this I love, I love this. Love this, definitely keeping. It's Coach from the outlet from years ago. Love that. Love this, keeping this. Love this. This is from Zach Posen, who I don't even know if he even makes handbags anymore, but this is the cutest purse in the entire world. Love that. Definitely keeping that. Definitely keeping this. I love purses. And honestly, I only, again, have seven and I just love all the ones that I have. Love this. Another fanny pack. I like fanny packs a lot. I think four of my seven purses are fanny packs. Love this one. Studded black leather. Amy Kestenberg. I think that says it's embossed. It's kind of hard to read. Um, beautiful. And then the last purse that I have it's the tiniest, tiniest little purse. It has a, a crossbody strap. This can hold like your license and a chapstick, but it's just very cute, very cute. Um, and I got this on Amazon, but most of my purses are from the Coach outlet. And then this Zach Posen, I think was from another outlet store or on sale or whatever. And the same with this, but this is just from Amazon. It was like $15 and I just think it's really cute. Okay, so 
that was quick. And then I have two other coach fanny packs that I wear all the time. You guys have seen those. And then I have that one new mango bag that's just like a shoulder bag that I haven't worn yet, but I do have that. Okay, now let me go get the shoes that I'm probably getting rid of. Then we'll try on the clothes. Oh, my legs. I was sitting on my legs too long. Oh no. Hello, I'm back. Did you miss me? Hello. Hi. Okay. So these two pairs of shoes are winter shoes. So they were just in the other room. These I'm definitely keeping. Look how beautiful these are. These are Mark Fisher, I think. That again, I think I got like a Nordstrom rack or something years ago. Black suede, little booties uh, with like these little studs on them. But then these shoes, <sighs> these are kind of like the skinny jeans and the ripped jeans that for me, I used to love these. But now I'm like, I don't really know anymore. These are my little Steve Madden fake Gucci's basically. I love mules, I love mules, but this with the fur, I'm just not really sure if I'm ever gonna reach for this again. I used to love these. I used to love these and I wore them all the time, but I have not worn them in at least a year and a half. And so these are kind of honestly similar to the ripped jeans and the skinny jeans that yes, these were trendy as were those, but I think it's fine to stick with a trend even if the trend's over if you still like the product, obviously. If you still like the item, if you still like it, then keep doing it, keep wearing it, whatever. But do I personally still like them? Trend or not does not matter. Do I still personally like them? And I don't really think that I do. But let's go in the other room because I have more room in there to try on my clothes. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, I know that I mentioned this in Tuesday and Wednesday's videos, but these videos, all these decluttering videos were just way longer than I thought they were going to be. And so on Tuesday and Wednesday, all of the skincare and bathroom and makeup, all of that spring cleaning, I ended up cutting that video in half. And so I posted half on Tuesday and half on Wednesday. And I'm doing the same exact thing for this video with all my clothes. And so this is just part one slash part three. So it's part one of clothes, but part three of spring cleaning. And yeah, so I just wanted to end this video here and then the second half of this video which is me trying on all the clothes that I'm gonna be giving away and selling and me showing you a couple new pieces that I got I'm gonna be posting that tomorrow so I'm not even gonna make you wait until next week I'm gonna post that tomorrow on Saturday and so I know it's like a little confusing because I'm just adding a million videos for the week but I still hope that that makes sense this video is just gonna be way too long and I just wanted to cut it in half and so I hope that you enjoyed this part of the video and just going through my closet and it was closer than I thought it was, but just going through my closet with me. But again, if you wanna see me trying on all the clothes and you wanna see all the new stuff that I got, I really hope that you're subscribed. I'm gonna be posting that video tomorrow. But yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.